Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at Surefire's new flagship model. This is the UB3T Invictus. It is pretty similar to the M3LT or the M3LTS, but it has a rotary ring that lets you quickly select between the different outputs, strobe, and SOS. Pretty cool flashlight, so let's open it up and take a look at it. We'll go ahead and get the, uh, the price thing out of the way. This thing is currently $695, which I know is a lot of money. It is our currently most expensive flashlight. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of money, but if you know Surefire, you know their quality. Made in America, no questions asked, lifetime warranty. Really tough, really durable, really dependable flashlights. If you're military or law enforcement, they are definitely worth it. So here's the light. We're going to put that to the side, show you the other kind of stuff that you get in the packaging. So in here you have the lanyard and the lanyard attachment point is this little piece right here which you can remove if you don't like it if you feel like it gets in your way you can always remove that so that's pretty much it surefire doesn't include a lot of stuff with their lights as far as holsters and that kind of stuff but uh, they do have the batteries that are already in the light your instruction manuals in here um, a warning about using surefire batteries <laughs> you have the warranty information and then a sticker which is kind of cool nice little sticker so that's the packaging and the accessories that you get packaging has a bunch of good information has all the information on there 800 lumens on max output 2 lumens on the lowest which is a pretty big spread for a surefire and then 84 hours of useful runtime on the lowest output and then on the other side you got some more information 1.7 hours on high so that's the packaging and accessories here is the light itself. Let's zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better. You can see this is definitely one of their larger lights. I mean, considering the output that you get on this thing, 800 lumens on max output, it's a lot of output, especially for a light this size. And the beam and the throw on this thing are just awesome. So here's the light, as always. Fantastic machining, fantastic anodizing on it. You're not gonna find any flaws on these. There's the, uh, the optic that they have in there. Pretty cool optic, and you'll see a lot better when we go outside what this optic does and the kind of beam that you get out of it. Really nice beam, a really smooth, even beam. And uh, like I said, you'll see that better outside. Here is the thing kind of sets this apart from a lot of the rest of their line. You have this rotary ring that you can use to switch between all your different outputs. Pretty neat. And of course, we'll show you that better here in just a second. The dot shows you what mode you're on and you can switch between all the different ones. So, zoom back out, I'll show you the interface of this guy. You have the two-stage switch here on the back. You notice that I'm pressing it. I'll make sure that it's actually tightened down so the batteries are engaged. You notice that I'm pressing it, nothing's turning on. It's because I have the ring turned all the way over to off. So it's kind of nice, you've got a lockout, even when you have that, that uh, tail cap tightened all the way down, the light's not going to turn down or turn on on you. Like I said just a second ago, these do actually come with batteries, I forgot to say that. But it comes with three CR123 batteries, that's how it's powered. And they come in the light, just like all the Surefires that I've ever seen, or all the ones that we've ever stocked. The batteries come with it, and they come in the light in the packaging. So, got the tail cap back on there, we'll actually back it off a little bit, and switch it over to the next mode, actually back it off a little bit more and uh, show you how this thing works in the actual illumination modes. So we've got it in SOS right now. If you lightly press it, you'll see it'll go into SOS. Kind of neat. It's the first Surefire that I've seen that can flash SOS without you actually having to tap out SOS. Uh, the next one on there is Min, and you're going to start noticing a little bit different interface once you get past the SOS. So lightly press it, and you'll see on there you've got the lowest output, really low output on here. Definitely one of the lowest I've ever seen, especially on the larger Surefire lights, um, as far as as far as output for Surefire lights. And then press it all the way, and you have your max output. That's pretty cool. So you can get in to both outputs from the different output levels. Can't get into it from SOS because it's meant to just be SOS only. But the different outputs you can get in to whatever you have it set to and the max output which is really nice so you have that that easy selectability and for constant on just tighten the tail cap 
and that's how you get it into the constant on. Tighten it all the way and it's going to go into the max output. You can, if you want to, use just the ring up here. So you have the uh, tail cap tightened down a little bit. And you can see you can use just the ring all the way to the left. It's going to turn it off and then you can use that to select between the modes, which is pretty nice. So the next one over is going to increase the output a little. Still, you get the max output if you press it all the way. More output, still max. More output, still max. More output, still max. More output, still max. <laughs> and the last one here, there you go. You can see the next to highest output, still max. And then your last output, of course, is max. And then pressing the switch all the way. Looks like it's giving you a little bit more output. Um, we'll see a little bit better when we go outside. It says max on here, although pressing it all the way does look like it's a teeny tiny bit brighter. And then all the way to the right is going to get you your strobe output. And just like SOS, pressing the switch when it's in strobe uh, to get the max output doesn't work. It's just going to be strobe. So the two flashing modes are going to be only flashing, but all the other outputs you can get into max output from any of those. Really nice feature. So again, all the way to the left, off. You got SOS next over, and then as you go through, it'll go through your different outputs. All the way to the right is gonna be your strobe, and from any of the regular outputs, press the switch all the way, and you have max output. And then loosen the tail cap to get it back off. And you can just use it as momentary if you prefer it like that. So that's the interface of the Surefire UB3T Invictus. Really cool light, I know it's pricey, but uh, if you need something like this, it's definitely worth the money. Let's go ahead and take it outside and we'll show you how this does outside and compare it to a couple other lights. Okay, here's the UB3T. Got the 4D mag light that I always use. Let's try the mag light out first. Bush, 15 feet. Tree out there at 100 feet. And let's try out the UB3T. See how badly it shames the mag light. <laughs> There you go. There it is on some of the higher outputs. That's actually the next to highest. There's your max output, pressing it all the way down. See how much light comes out of this thing is really impressive. I mean, there's just a ton of light that comes out of it. We'll crank through the different outputs real quick. Put it all the way down. There's the lowest output. You can see at 15 feet, it actually does pretty well. Let's, uh, I'm going to tighten down the tail cap so it's a little bit easier. All right, there we go. And we'll crank up through them. Just see how you can see it, it how it does at the different levels for the shorter distances. So there's your max output. We'll zoom in on that so you can see it a little bit better. A whole lot of light coming out of this. You can see what I was talking about with the beam. With this one, you don't really get a lot of spill, so that's, uh, that's one thing that you have to consider if you like spill. The spill is not very bright. If you look at this part down in here, compared to some of the other lights with the with the regular reflector, it's not going to light up the area all around the hot spot. But the hot spot is really big. It's smooth, even, clean, which a lot of people prefer. So definitely something to consider if you're in the market for that kind of light. All right, let's try out a longer distance and see how it does. Okay, we got more room to work with with the UB3T, so we can really show it off. Still got the 4D mag light. There's my house, the top of my house at 50 yards. Pine tree in the front yard at 100 yards. Doesn't really make it out to the pine tree. Does okay at 50 yards. Let's try the UB3T. And this is gonna be max output. There you can see a little bit better how the beam does. What I was talking about with the lack of spill up here, you can see it a little bit better. But uh, what it does light up, it lights up extremely well. Nice, big, smooth, clean, even hot spot. Lights up things really well. Lights up a wide area of what you're pointing it at. Shining around a little bit so you can see different colors and distances and stuff. But top of that tree, over 100 yards away, no problem. No question of what's going on out there. And of course, much, much further than this. I mean, this thing will go out to hundreds of yards, no problem. Show you the different levels of it real quick, just to give you an idea of how it does with the different outputs. Drop it down to some of the lower ones. Of course, it's not going to go that far on some of the lower ones, but it's not meant to. You can crank it up to the higher outputs. 
if you want to get the more distance. So there you go. That's the Surefire UB3T Invictus. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of flashlight videos. And if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com.